Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here again with my lumpy uh, Deco Art Americana mixture. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going with it because this is experimenting. I'm gonna try a piping bag this time. We'll just see what happens. All for the sake of science. And the last one didn't come out terrible. Not what I was going for. But is it ever what you're going for? So I have colors. I have Bahama Blue. This should fall to the background. I have the Ultra Blue Deep. This was the only color that did not get lumpy when I added the alcohol. Uh... Purple Pizzazz, Citron Green, and the Cadmium Yellow. So I will put the blue in first. That is the opaque, and that's the one that I want the other colors to go underneath. might as well just use up this paint because I'm probably not going to do another painting with lumpy paint. And the cat has the zoomies. There's a bug trying to get in my paint. These little gnats are driving me insane. Yeah, that's definitely enough paint. Okie dokie. Let's make a mess. Again, I didn't use a background base coat. Um, because the paint is lumpy and I'm not expecting it to be a keeper, so. Just experimenting. Bixby's going nuts. Right, and then I'm just gonna hold it and let it the other colors float out underneath that first color which was an opaque I think if you're trying to get cells and avoiding silicone this is a great way to do it it works really well Pop some of these bubbles. Again, there's no silicone in here. This is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and my 90% um, water, 10% Floetrol mixture. 
to get the consistency I wanted. And I did add three drops of alcohol to each color, which caused the paint to curdle, which I've never had happen before. But I thought I'd use it up anyway. Well, we're getting some good cells here. Now I'm kind of wishing I'd put down a base coat. I don't want to lose these cells here. I'm going to just give it something to slide around on. This side I won't mind stretching because those yellow cells aren't very pretty, but I want to make sure I save this stuff here. my little corner catcher here. Recenter your paint before changing directions. This is a crucial step in keeping your cells
going to tilt off some of that funky green. Well, those are interesting cells. I'll say that. It's actually a lot better than I was expecting with the lumpiness of the paint. It did kind of smooth out as I let it sit and kept mixing it. So it wasn't quite as curdled as uh, it was in the beginning. So, in case you were wondering, is it possible to get cells without silicone with craft paints? Here is your answer. And even though um, the paint was not ideal uh, after I put the alcohol in it, I would say the results are not so bad. Though not exactly what I was expecting, but is it ever? But what I did expect was for the light blue to become the background, which is kind of what happened because that's what's laced here there and there are more cells popping up over here so I will let this sit for a minute and we will come back and revisit it and see how it's changed back in a few okay so this has been sitting for about 10 minutes You can see some of the smaller cells have popped up. All in all, I'm not completely displeased with it. There are some greens in there, but they aren't hideous greens to me. So, turned out pretty good for a uh, craft paint that got lumpy on me. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Go make some art.